Morning, everybody. You lovely, lovely bunch. Morning, Joy. Morning, Joe. How lovely to see you. You need your legs and you need your weights. Get selection. Um, you're mostly going to need heavy. Um, so we're going to start. We've got enough light in here. We're going to start with warming up on the floor. Because I want to go through some of the moves that we're going to do later on. No cardio. Might be something at the end that you might think is cardio, but it's just that big for the legs. Okay, on all fours, everybody. So I just want you to make sure your knees are underneath your hips and your wrists are underneath your shoulders. If you want to go on your knuckles, do that. You're just going to go into a cat stretch. So take a breath out as you arch up, tuck your pelvis under. You're almost creating, keep it there. Almost creating a little crunch between your hip and your rib. And then back to a flat back. And again, arch. Real big stretch in your spine. And again, arch up. And back. We'll do one more. Arch up. That's it. Tilt. Squeeze the hip bones towards the rib cage. Take the fingers of your left hand in. So make sure they're still underneath your shoulders, dive through that gap, put your head on the floor and stretch, hold it, keep breathing, just take a breath in, breathe out and come up, dive through again, breathe in, touch the head on the floor, breathe out, last one, breathe in, stretch the fingers away and up, fingers of the right hand turned in, do it again this way, so stretch, head on the floor, hold it there, so you're walking the fingers away, come up, and again, all the way. Rotate, so get a nice bit of rotation in your body. Come up, perfect. Fingers facing forward. I'm just going to move that laptop handle. Fingers facing forward. I want you to go into a full arm plank. Let's just see more on the floor. Or you think. There we go. So, not full arm plank. Turn, turn your toes under. Lift your hips up. Get a nice stretch in your calf. Straighten your arms and do that downward dog. Hold it up there so you're poking your bum up, you're stretching your glutes and down the back of your legs. Wonderful. Just take one arm up, keep the pelvis still and don't move. And the other arm up. And again, then go into a downward dog. Push the heels down, straighten the arms. Perfect. Hold on to that. Really straighten, get your chest towards your knees. Hold it there, keep breathing. Fantastic, okay. Take your hands wide. Drop the shoulders down. You're gonna go down to five press ups. Two, just warm up. Three, four, five. Then I want you to take your right, uh, come up on your knees, sorry. Take your right leg forward, hand on the inside of that front foot, and take the back knee off. Now stretch your hip flexors. Hold on to that. Hold on to it. That's it. Now sit back on your heel. Then you're stretching your hamstring. Go back again. Take the knee off the floor. Hold that hip flexor stretch. You might can't bend that left that leg there. You can straighten that leg. That's good. Drop the back knee. Go back into that. Hamstring stretch. One more. Lift up. Hold on to that. That's good. Drop the knee. And then hold on to that hamstring stretch. Try and lean down. Really feel it in the back of that leg. Perfect. Go into that downward dog again. You and your downward dog, Annie. Very really nice stretch. Just clutch up the calves and the bottom being highly undignified. We don't care. No one's watching us. Straighten the arms. That's it. Drop the knees and put the left leg forward like that. Put the hands on the mat and lift the back leg up. So now you get your stretch in this hip. Hold it there. Hold. Hold. Drop the back knee. Sit back on the heel. Lean forward over so that you'll get stretching your lower back and the heel over that hamstring. 
that do not get hands on the inside, lift the back knee, hands straight the back, push the chest forward. Sink down into that hip, drop the back knee, sit back, lean forward. Brilliant. Last one. Hands here, take the back knee off, drop the shoulders. That's good. Hold on to it. Try and breathe out. Go down a little bit more. Drop the back knee. Last one. Perfect. Lean forward. That's it. Come up. Take the back leg back. Last downward dog. Push the heels down. Straighten the arms. Then walk back. Bend the knees if you need to. Roll up. Sort your hair out. Feet wide. Lean forward. And we're going to do side to side, so your back is flat at the floor. I want you to lean, just rotate the outside angle. You don't need to turn and look at the uh, ceiling if you don't want to. Perfect. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Walk the feet in a little bit. Toes turned out a little bit. Give you five more sumo squats. One. Come up. Two, so a little pause at the bottom. Three more. One, two, push the knees out, and three. Come up. And what's the other thing I want you to do now? I want you to do, come into this position, just want to practice this. You've got nothing in your hands, okay? You're going to lift up, your palms are facing back. Just do that as like a row. So bring your elbows together. Then I want you to extend your arms. Not to there, to there. So really keep the shoulders away from the ears. I want you to feel it in the back of the arm, there. Back down, do another row and extend. Tricep kick back. Down, row and extend. Perfect. Lift up, squeeze the shoulder blades together and extend. I want you to feel that extension. One more. Up, extend. Perfect. Okay, give me a side lunge. I might just move that mat out there. Give me a side lunge. And the other side. One more here. And one more here. And then we're going to go a side lunge and we're going to add a side leg raise. We've done that before. Side lunge. Now hold your hands here because that would be where your weights are. Don't wobble like I just did. <laughs> and lift. So your hips out like that, lift up, lift the leg. Okay, try this side. So side lunge, come back, lift. If you can not put that stepping leg on the floor the whole time, that's good, but don't worry if you have to. I'd just like you to try and have a balance challenge. I sit down. Perfect. Lift. One more. Brilliant. Okay. So ten side bends. Hips nice and still. Four. We're going to do lots of being aware of your core. Right up. One more each side. Okay. Give me ten twists. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Do a little dance. Because we have got no cardio. <laughs> oh, we will chat about that. Okay, right. We start on the floor. We don't need any weights at all for this first section. So we're going to do this is the upper back and core. So you're going to do a blade squeeze. You're going to do a full arm row. Try some extension finish. I'll show you three exercises. And then do them three times. You're here, you go like that. You have to squeeze your glutes and see how my heels are facing each other, my toes turn out. Then you're going to come up into this position. Now, what you have to have your feet a bit wider. What I'm interested in, this is why I said no weights, because we could do it with weights. I don't want you to do this. Okay, I don't want you to lift your hips. I want you to go up, extend. Up, extend. I don't care if you put your knees on the floor for the whole thing. Just don't sit back and raise your hips because then you're working the core. 
which is what we want. And then we're going to go to a normal plank. So we're going to do it for about 45 seconds, the first two, and the plank is for 30. Here we go, flatten your tummy, arms outstretched, toes turned out, heels facing each other. You do not look up. Here we go. My eye look up to look at the clock. So breathe out and bring the elbows towards your hips. Don't bring your hands out to the side in a fan. You want to create a W shape. There's not how high you lift up. It's how much you stretch to the top of the head. So keep your neck long and your shoulders down. Squeeze your glutes a lot. Morning, everybody who's spitting a little note there, by the way. Lying to the back, I can't see it from here. And go. Oh, my God. So then do one more rep. Perfect. Now bring yourself up. It's a bit challenging. Let's take your feet a bit wider than your hands. Here we go. One. Extend. Back down. One. Extend. Back down. So my palm is flat. Do the row. Extend. Up. Extend. Tighten the stomach muscles and tighten the glutes. You'll get hot doing this. Really tighten the glutes. Extend. Keep your body absolutely still. Try not to roll. I know. One more. Okay. Into a plank. Onto your forearms. Oh man, we've got to stay here for 30 seconds now. Come on. Remember, if you put one leg down, do not move the upper body position or move your hips. That's tough. Straight out of that bird. Right, tighten your quads and push the backs of your knees towards the ceiling. Okay, slide the shoulders down. You can have your palms flat on the floor. Hold on to that. Hold. We've got about five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Sit back on your heels. Stretch out your arms. Give me five pelvic floor exercises, please. One, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Flat on your tummy. Arms outstretched. Heels facing each other, but not touching. Squeeze those lovely glutes, which we've trained for the last 10 weeks nearly. Here we go. And hold it. That's it, that's it. Come on. Squeeze elbows. Lovely. Perfect. Come on. Elbows. Let lengthen through the top of the head, but keep your chin tucked in and breathe out as you come up. Do not hold your breath. So drive your shoulder blades down. We're going to do two more. One. Down. Keep squeezing those glutes. Two. Down. It's a lovely postural exercise. If you've got to sit at a lateral all day. Here we go. Do our planky thing. Okay. Go. Row. If you're struggling with the tricep kickback thing, just do the row because that means you're on one hand for a little less. Remember, you can drop your knees like that. And that will take a lot of effort off your core and off your hip flexors. I think why have I I've said don't have weights is because weights distract you from keeping the plank still. So think about your glutes, think about not rolling. Come on. They're coming, Annie, they're coming. I know you're out there. Come on, we're going to do one more way on. Squeeze the glutes, do not bend those legs. Down to a plank. Hold that. So you can bring your feet a bit narrower now. If you need to put a knee down or both knees down, do that. We can play about with the knees while you're there. Should we lift a little leg? Oh God, if we must. You don't have to. This is just an extra challenge. 
in that plank. So you're lifting one leg for a few seconds, then putting it down without a thump. Come on. We're all on time. We're over time, Deadman. Sit back on your heels. Give me 10 pelvic pulls this time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. Flatten your tummy. Last round, everybody. Hands forward. Drive the shoulders down. Get your chin tucked in. Heels facing each other and go. Perfect. Elbows slide and lengthen through the top of your head. Don't come up too high. I want you to lengthen through that spine rather than lift too high. Two more. One. Do not lift your feet. Elbows. Two. Okay, here's our plank for the last time. In three, two, one. Let's go. Right, squeeze the glutes. Think how much <coughs> your abs, I'm not doing the kickback, am I? Come on, Dickman. Concentrate. Down. Up. Extend. Come on, are you doing it? Extend. Do not roll those hips. Hear me out there? Tighten the legs. Listen to this training I'm giving you. Do not roll and let the legs feel fluid. Keep them active. Absolutely still. Tighten the glutes. Glutes are so important for stability. One more, the other arm. That was a quick one. Down to a plank. Narrow your feet. Okay, if you want to add some bells and whistles onto this plank, bring the knee to the elbow. Not on the floor. There's a spider man. Up to you. Come on. One more. Hold. Drop the knees. Sit back on your heels. Give me 20. Walk your arms away. 20 quick fire pelvic floors. Stay there. Morning, Sally. Morning, Hilary, Belinda, Emma, B, Catherine, and Ellen. Lovely to see you. Okay, up you come. I think it's time to actually get rid of that now. We need it in a minute. Okay. Here we're going to do our side lunge. We're going to um, side lunge and side raise one leg, then the other leg. Then we're going to Go all the way down, but not all the way up. So it comes three quarters through those squat. And then we're going to hold it down and push your knees back. We're going to do that three times. So it's quite straightforward, but not necessarily easy. Glutes, I'm thinking. Okay, grab some dumbbells, which you might have to dump halfway through. Oh, it's still very heavy today. <laughs> okay, what happened here actually? Side lunge. With a side raise. Ready? Let's do it. As it dropped, top and over like I just did. Keep the, don't turn the toe out like that. Keep it facing me. And then you're hitting the right part of the glute. So I think we're going to have glutes and adductors, that's your inner thigh, singing a little bit tomorrow. 20 more seconds here, then we're doing the other leg. So keep the toe facing me, all hanging down. It's quite exhausting, isn't it? Two more reps. One. Two. Ready? Other leg. Let's go. That's it. 
big step. So don't compromise the depth of the side of lunge just because you're worried and thinking about the side raise. You can put your foot down to balance you and steady you. But keep, try and keep your body straight as you do that side leg raise. Uh, 10 seconds here. Hips out, that's it. One more, one more. Okay. These are the 30 seconds. Oh no, I'm gonna hold me down. All the way down, not all the way up. Just 30 seconds, okay? So don't let the knees come in. Keep them pushed back, keep thinking. You can shut your eyes. Imagine you're on a beach from there, maybe. And think about your glutes. And then some incredible things to think about. Okay, hold it down, hold. Push them back. This is 20 seconds only. Come on, stay there, stay there. 10 seconds. Push, push, pull. Three, two, one. Silence reigns. Shake the legs out. We're going again. Do you remember what you did, maybe? Do that. And that is blowing the nose up. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, grab your weights again. Side lunge, leg raise. Let's rock. <coughs> Hips out behind you. Lift. Perfect. Hips out behind you. Lift. Up. Perfect. Get it up and keep the toe down because that means you're activating the right part of the glute. If you start turning your leg <laughs> wobbling like that, if you start doing that, you're activating your quad in front of your thigh. You want to keep the outside of the glute. One more, one more. Ooh. Uh. Lift. Perfect. Other side. Let's go. So toes are forward all the time through both parts of the move. He's doing a brilliant job, everybody. Come on. One more, one more after this. Go on. Here we go. Ready? Let's do it. It's only 30 seconds. All the way down, with a little pause maybe. You can have your weights where you like. Stay with me. Don't put them on the floor. Keep a straight back so it's not getting in your back. Keep the knees pushed up, but all you'll think about is your boots, I promise. Breathe. I know. Come on. Now we're going to hold for 20 seconds. Hold. Push the knees out. Straight back. Straight back. Push your chest out. Your bum out. Knees out. Everything out. Come on. Don't come up. Don't start drifting upwards. You've got seven seconds. Four. Three. Two, one. Oh, nice. Not. Just shake them out. Have another little drink. Last round. Promise. Promise. Okay, if you're struggling now, dump the weights and do everything without the weights. Ready? Side lunge, side raise. Go. <coughs> Come on. So you've got to keep your body still when you lift that leg. Then you lean over. 
Let that all compromise in. The effort in that glute. Big step. That's it. You stars, come on. Lift. Fantastic. Seven seconds, that's all. One more. Oh, straight into the next leg. Go. Uh, so you have to use your stomach muscles. Sorry, I've left about there. To keep your body straight. Hips out. Lift. That's it. You've got to speak. Come on. Okay, we're halfway. Hips out. Flat back. Manic expression on your face. Don't forget that. Lift. Come on. Eight seconds. Oh, come on. We can put one more in. Lift. Okay, here we go. Thirty seconds. All the way down. Little pause. Not all the way up. Ten seconds, everybody. Come on. Hold. Here we go. Push the knees back. Some of the weights up here sometimes helps keep your back up. Push. Think glutes. We're nearly there. We've only got eight seconds. Six, five, four. Three, two, one, one and a bit. Oh. Okay, shake your legs now, have a drink. Well, I'll just show you the next three. Well, that makes this all on the floor. Okay, you're going to do a one and a half, down your back, and do a one and a half chest fly. No, you're not, you're going to do press ups first. Then a one and a half chest fly. And then our lovely tricep extension. Three rounds. Okay, so press ups. This is your chance to make them the hardest and the best that you can do at this moment in time when you're already tired. Okay. The feet, the wider your feet and the wider your fingers, you are helping yourself a bit. It's not making it easier, but you are helping yourself. Hands underneath. Your shoulders and then slightly wider. We're lowering and we're coming up. We're starting, it's going to be 40 or 45, but I forget to look at the clock of press up. So do the hardest you can first. Remember, it's not this. <laughs> okay? You are lowering your nipples to the floor like that. There's a sleeping charm on your back. Don't care the knees on the floor. Get your nose to the floor. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's do it. All the way down. Wow. Elbows. That twenty to four. I'm making these quite slow. I want you to make yours quite slow. Don't let your spine sink. So you need to keep your hips up a bit and your navel pinned up towards the ceiling. Come on, you've got 10 seconds. Come on, one more. Brilliant. Double weights. Roll over to your back. You like this one. Arms above your chest, not your face, your chest. Open up, half a rep down, and then a full rep. 40 seconds, let's do it. So keep the arms, no bending at the elbow. Keep the arms straight, but keep them, they're not locked, they're soft. So the movement does not involve the bicep curl. Perfect, open. Uh, halfway. Come on. Lift. Squeeze. 
open, squeeze. Come on, we've got eight seconds. Give me a decent half rep. I want you to use your stomach as you bring those weights together. Keep them up there. Hold here. I've got one down by your ears. Don't let the elbows fall forward, though. They have to stay still. Go. If that's too much for you with two weights, as when we're working out with smaller muscle now, just take one weight to do it with one weight, but hold that with both hands. Don't let your spine arch. Be aware of your stomach muscles. Get your navel pulled in. And I want you to lock, straighten those arms so you've tensed the tricep. We've got 10 seconds here now. Lift. Come on, lift. One more rep. Oh no, let's have another rep. Up. Weights down. Brilliant. Now, your arms, your neck set of press ups are going to be tired. Not from the chest, not from the triceps. You've already worn out the triceps and you're about to use them again. Don't be surprised if you feel that you're putting these down. Or bring the knees in. Remember, if you're from here and you want to make it easier, you bring the knees in. You don't move the upper body. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. I don't know if I'll hold out the full press up, but we'll give it a whirl. I want you to go down like a plank of wood. Don't let your elbows flare out to the side. I want you to feel it in your lats that's round behind, behind, just beneath your shoulder blades round there. I'm going to put both of these down, down. Push up. Don't forget that little pause at the end if you can make it. Ah, 10 seconds. Ah, come on. Ah, one more. One more, everybody. Push up. Good. Roll over onto your back. Just grab more weights. Lift them front of your chest. Let's go. Open. That's it. Open. Half a rep. Back down. Squeeze it up. Squeeze over your chest, not your face. That's it. Keep in control. Think about your stomach muscles, have your legs light. Don't grip with your legs, I want you to grip with your stomach <clears throat> and your petals. <sighs> Drive up. That's it. Oh, maybe you're doing this outside, you're looking at the sky, how lovely. Come on, open. <sighs> Perfect, come on. <sighs> Done, hold it there. Tri uh, triceps. So remember, we've done this before, you make them hard when you start there and drop on the floor behind you. So they're all with this angle and that gets your shoulders a little bit more. Up to you if you want to do that. I'm going to stick with the standard version. <sighs> Straighten your arms, do not let your elbows fall forward because then it becomes about the shoulder. Okay, we don't want, we're not training the shoulders. Well, we're not isolating the shoulders, they are working because they're holding the arm up. Come on, lift. We're going to do four more reps, is that a deal? One, two, oh, three, four. Okay, we've got one set to go. It starts to feel like about 10 kilos, aren't it? Shake the arm out. Okay, maybe a little slurp. Okay, right, start off with the hardest you can do. Okay, the hardest. Now I'll start off with knees off the floor, but I'm probably in about three reps, I'll put them down again. Three, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Shoulders down. Do not stick your head out. I'd rather you push your chest out to get to the floor, but don't let your spine sink. Come on. Lower. Sleeping child on your back. Come on. When it gets a bit hard, don't immediately regress down. Try and squeeze another couple of reps out of your hardest level. Oh. 
Remember, it's all about the legs. If you want to make it easy, you just drop your knee or you bring them in. Your elbows are still going and guiding away from you. How many have you got? I think we're done, but we're going to do one more rep. Because I always like to have the last word. Up. Roll over, if you can put any stretch up in your arms. Roll over. One and a half chest lies. Ready, you beautiful bunch. Three, two, one. Open. Half a rep. Down. And again. Open. Half a rep. Down. Perfect. Back, come on. <sighs> Wonderful. <sighs> come on, ladies, we've got eight seconds. Don't bend at the elbow, I know you're tired. One more rep. Might better knock out some triceps now. Hold those weights up there. Come on, powerful and strong. Let's do it. Straighten. Uh, come on. That's it, straighten. I'm going fairly fast, probably too fast. If you want to go slower, that's fine, but make sure you lock out the elbow. Oh, tense the triceps while I mean. Ah. Right, I'm going to do four more reps. One, two, three, four. Oh, wonderful. Bring them down. Get rid of those things. Shaking out your arms. Right, we've got core now. We're going to do a core pyramid. So you do one exercise for 20 seconds. Then the same one plus another one. Then those two plus another one. Then those three plus another one. Okay? You don't need any weight, do we? No. Not going to have any weight. First one is crunches, followed by reverse curls, followed by a bicycle crunch, followed by a Russian twist. Crunches. They're all for 20 seconds each, and they're going to crack on right now. Legs up. Go. So remember, with all the training that you've learned over the last 10 weeks, Keep the elbows still, don't move the legs, and you're pushing your ribs towards your hips, and you're trying to crush, and you're breathing out. Rest for five seconds, you're going to do that again. Five, four, plus reverse curls. Three, two, one, let's go. So reverse curls, you just lift your hips off the floor. You can do it with straight legs or you can do it with bent legs. I want you to breathe out as you're doing these crutches and look how the elbows do not move. You are not flapping them inside and out like that. Two more. One. Two. Hands down. Or just press down the hands a little bit and get the lower abs off the floor. <laughs> Perfect. That's it. Five seconds. One more. Don't forget to crunch. Feet down. We're going to do those two plus bicycle crunch in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. That's it. Ribs towards hips. Elbows stay absolutely still. As if someone's coming to punch you in the stomach and you brace your stomach muscles. You pull the navel downwards. One more rep. Hands down. Reverse curls. Up. Well, it's straight legs. You find that difficult? Do the bent leg and take your knees over to your face. I'm trying to plant my feet on the ceiling. <coughs> <laughs> Bicycle crunch, go. One elbow touching the floor, push away, 
Push your way. Come on, always one leg straight. Done. There, right there. We're adding on a Russian twist. So after the bicycle crunch, you'll bring yourself up. One leg or no leg, or both feet on the floor, and rotate like that with a straight back. Okay? Ready. Crunches. If your hip flex is getting sore, put your feet on the floor for crunches. Go. That's it. Oh my goodness, are you feeling that? Don't forget, you can make pathetic little murmurs anytime you like. Right, it'll be five seconds. Reverse curls, go. That's it. Hips, get them off the floor, get feet on the ceiling. Mm. Little bit more, come on. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, come on. Lift it up, lift it up. Five seconds. One more. Oh, I'm sure that's much longer than 20. Bicycle crunch. Oh, man. Uh, Ten seconds. Come on. Push them away. Get up there. Get up there. Rush and twist. Hold the back of the knee. That will help you get up. Feet down. Or one off the floor. Straight back. Let's go. Oh, both of them are going down. Straight back. And you're turning your shoulders towards me, then your shoulders away. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. What time is it? We're going to do that again. So we've got them up this time. So we're going to do Russian twist first. Ready? I know you're all protesting. Go, 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 get a shower. Oh, I've got to go. I've got to turn the laptop on. Yeah, I'll give me that. Come on. Let's go. Russian twist. And we rest and we do Russian twist again. Followed by bicycle crunch. Don't do this. Stay upright. Push your chest out. Five seconds. Hold it. Five, four, three. Two, back up again, Russian twist. Come on, not many up. That's it. You want to hold a dumbbell, be my guest, but I don't think I could. The shoulders. Being a bit weak, not now, shoulders. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, roll down, bicycle crunch, go. Oh, man. So if you're feeling it's too tough, put both feet on the floor and do that. Oh. One one hand in the air, because that puts the hip flexors under a bit more pressure. We've got about seven seconds. Eight, nine, ten. Rest. Russian twist, bicycle crunch, and reverse curls. In three, two, one. Just out, let's go. Uh. Don't let your knees move, come on. Do none of this. Keep your hips still, your hips are facing forward and you're rotating, so it's all in your back, all around here, your whole corset muscle. Ugh. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Bicycle crunch. Here, so I've got it. Well, I'm up here. Come on. Rotate, do not flat your elbows in front of your eyes. Mm. Mm. Five, four, three, two, reverse curls. Legs up, here we go. So you bring your hips towards your ribs and lift them off the floor. 
Come on, you lucky lot. Come on. Two more reps. One, two. Last round. All right, we're ending with crunches. Ready. Jaws down. Hair stopping. Let's go. No, not down here somewhere. Come on, what big rotations, arm extended. Uh, three, five seconds. Oh, three, it's easy to get the list. Check that. I am right in thinking it's bicycle crunch. It is, isn't it? Yes, come on. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. uh. Come on, push the heel away. Stay with me, everybody. Stay with me. Uh. Reverse curls. Oh man. Come on, grunt, grunt with me. Lift those heels on the floor. A flip up. Do it, do it to the end. Crunching. Come on, we're gonna pack them out. Navel down, don't let your start muscles come up. Ten seconds. Eight, seven, six, five. Put one foot down if you need to. Four, three, two, one. Man, lift your hips. It's not over. What did I say? I needed the wall, didn't we? This is very quick. I think I've written how long? I've written two minutes next to it. Obviously, because I keep to my times all the time. Not. To show you, you don't want those. Oh my god, you don't want those. I've got two door knobs in the way, just playing on to wall squat for five seconds. Just going to do a bit of cord work, isolated cord work. Five seconds. You said no cardio, Annie. You don't have to do jump squat jumps if you don't want to do squat jumps. You're going to do half squats. Two, four, six, eight, ten. You with me? Oh, I can hear the sound of laptop shutting. Five, four, three, two, one. Two jumps. One, two. Back into it. Five, four, three, two, one, four. Look, we're going to 10. Make sure your heels are underneath your knees and your knees are level with your hips. Three, two, one, six, one, oh man, two, three, four, five, six. Let me get a chance to straighten this low in the air. Three, two layers left. Go, eight. Oh, come on. Now on the last layer, you can't. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Harm in. Three, two, one. Ten. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, six. Come on, seven. Eight. You were brilliant. Stay on your knees, double your mat, hip flexors. Mine are dying, don't that noise. Not done. If you stayed with me on that last bit, then didn't go off in a strop. You're a marvel. Okay, left foot, left knee under a towel, right leg forward. Tilt the pelvis, I know it's 10 to 8. Oh, I changed a habit of a lifetime. I've never kept a time, but in the past 10 weeks. Tilt. 
Now pause. Don't worry, there's a slide up to Zoom. Promise. So you're tilting now. You're leaning back to stretch that hip flexor. Okay, you need to balance. balance. You're going to lift that back leg, back foot. Now I'm holding it with both hands just so I want to get extra stretch on the front of the thigh, but if you need to hold on to something, do. Amazing, everybody. Uh, hold on to that. Right, knee forward, left leg. So you'll be there on this Friday, won't you? This Friday is going to be our new regular slot, seven o'clock. And don't worry, I want you to try and pack in one week's workouts into one workout, don't worry. It will usually be straight from cardio, so I think people are up for it on the Friday. Um, but we'll do something delicious and lovely. So stay up right, push that hip forward. Now I actually do the hip flexor on this one, I can't remember. Tilt. Sorry, it's chatting too much. And lean forward. Get a good stretch there. Come up, do your hamstrings. So hips up behind you. Tilt the pelvis, go up. Other side, toe down, hips up behind you. And let's do the quads again, please, as you're standing up. If you have already done the standing up. And a quick one. This side. Feet wide. Hips out behind you, so the back is level with the parallel with the floor now. And just walk your hands over to the side. And then turn and open up that hip, press it down. Other side. Stretch, turn, open up that hip. Come up, do your triceps. One arm down your back. If you've got to go, thank you very much for joining me. And I'll see you. I'm doing a Pilates at 10 o'clock. The woman at home today. If you want to. It's not particularly easy, I don't think. Put your hands behind your back. Squeeze your shoulders together. So you stretch the front of your shoulder and your chest a little bit. Well done, you groovy bunch. Thank you very much. Have a lovely, lovely day. Well done. See you Friday. Thank you, lovely team.